I made a video discussing why you should not cede power to anyone. For those who don't know what that means, it basically means give up to delegate or whatever, primarily just to give it to someone else. But you should not cede power to anyone lest you end up like NixOS. NixOS, most recently, is known for having a bunch of activists take over the board and then kick out the founding member who created NixOS in the first place, thereby destroying the project, basically, uh, because they, quote, couldn't tolerate Nazis anymore, where Nazis means anyone that they disagree with. The whole point of my video about NixOS, <clears throat> of my video about why you should not give up the power to run the organization, either through the requirements of a nonprofit where you must have a board of several members to even have one, uh, or certain corporate structures where you also must have board members, or a partnership where you have multiple people that have an equal stake in the company, generally. Um, but you, you do not cede power by doing any of this. And, and investments, too. I mentioned investments, where if someone comes in and goes, hey, we'll give you a million dollars for 20% of your company, you do not do that because once 20% of your company is gone, you're now only 30% away from no longer controlling your company. You do not cede power to anyone or your company can be taken over. Your organization can be taken over by lunatics, by activists, by people who will gladly murder it and loot the corpse. The whole point of this video is actually to respond to a derailing comment that I got on that. I will attempt to read it now. I don't think a one-man dictatorship is any kind of a solution either. One man can't do it, and if they try to impose their will on an organization, they will find the same thing that befalls all large organizations. Now, notice we're talking about large organizations. That's like Amazon, Google. We're not talking about a large organization here, genius. We're talking about a small software project. We're talking about, you know, a group of maybe at most 100 people in, in some sort of uh, organizational structure, but we're not talking about a large organization. This is not Google. We're not talking about Google. Stop acting like we're talking about Google. Of course, if the company has 10,000 employees, you can't manage it single-handedly. You have to delegate power. But that's not the discussion, and thus the derailment. And they will return, the, uh, here we go. They will find the same thing that befalls all large, large organizations. The boss isn't smarter than 100 people. That's bullshit. I can easily find 100 other people that I am smarter than. Um, in general, I would say that a lot of them are customers, or ex-customers, perhaps more specifically. Um, yeah, I'm smarter than a lot of people. I know it's cliche for some uh, arrogant dickhead to be like, oh, I'm smarter than everybody else, but I, I know for a fact, especially based on witnessing their behavior, <laughs> that I am, in fact, smarter than quite a few other people. Um, so I can easily find a hundred people that are more stupid than I am. So yeah, that's bull. And they will return his tyrannical ruling kind. What is this, a socialist co-op? No, we're talking about a company. Shove it. It is a self-defeating proposition. You nor any, uh, anyone, you nor any one other single person has the bandwidth to take care of the entire whole as opposed to what, the partial hull of this massive project. We're not talking about a massive project, we're talking about a software project, not Microsoft. Anything that would depend on one person so entirely would be so brittle it would never make it to reality to get demolished by. Is this English, this person's second language? Jesus. I know it is sexy to imagine doing it, quote, your way, that if only everyone got out of the way, it could be done. But even if you were working with a hundred clones of yourself, it would still fall flat on its face. Well, that's not a scenario that could actually exist. And we're not talking about the kind of organization that you're talking about. You have made an irrelevant comment. Unfortunately, some other people have actually agreed with you, which is why this video exists. There is no solution to wave your magic wand and make the complexity go away. Yes, there is because I'm not talking about that. I'm not talking about the kind of organization that you are. The complexity does not exist in the first place. It's not there to go away. It, it will never be there to go away. And if it ever is, that means that I am toppling Microsoft single-handedly with my organization that's so complex. 
the board and other large-scale human machine resolving mechanism is a reflection of the complexity of the whole. No, no. A board is not a reflection of the complexity of the whole. A board is a bunch of different people that come together to govern something. It doesn't mean that they are in any way representative of the whole. Period. It's just a bunch of people. And while you might say, oh, well, a random sampling of people might, will be a good distribution of points of view, except it's not a random sampling. It's a board. These people don't get on the board at random. What are you smoking, dude? It's not politics. It's real people and real complexity, and it's got, not going away no matter how much of a dictator you're going to be about it. And they continued in a second comment, I mean, you think you have a problem with the board, often less than a dozen people. But the reality is, it's not a dozen people you have to deal with, it's everyone in the company. And this is where it really goes off the rails, and I called bullshit. No, I don't have to deal with everyone in the company. The janitor is not telling me what to do. The, the, the low-level coders aren't telling me what to do. But more importantly, we're not talking about a situation that has this level of organization or complexity or whatever that you are. You're talking about a Microsoft. I'm talking about a NixOS. NixOS, I can guarantee you, has less than 100 people working on it as far as like people who are actually part of the project rather than just like smaller one-off contributors that throw in their little code and just go, hey, I just want to help out. Will you please accept my, my help? <clears throat> as far as people who actively actually are working on the project, central people, I guarantee you it's nowhere near what you're talking about here. So, even the janitor will overrule you mercilessly on cleaning stuff matters. Okay, I don't care. I don't care. If I hire a janitor, then I'm delegating janitorial work to the janitor, which means I'm trusting the janitor to make professional, correct decisions about cleaning house. What does this have to do with a programming, with, a, with, a, with an operating system software project kind of thing? Nothing. It has not a damn thing to do with it, and you know it. You're muddying the waters, and you know it. You're, you know what you're doing, and it's bullshit, and I'm not just going to stand by and pretend like you're not full of shit. You know that you're diverting, distracting, you're trying to make everything, just, you're making it vague so that then you can pick a point out of that vagueness and go, oh, this point is wrong. But it's, it's a straw man argument because you're not even arguing in the same realm as what I am. You're not talking about what I'm talking about. So you're full of it. You're not lying directly. You're not speaking things you know to be false, but you know, you should know, you have no reason not to know that your premise that you are working from is completely false and has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. You, this is the definition of a bad faith argument. This person is not arguing with me based on accepting my premises and then debating them or refuting my premises and providing ev evidence or at least a logical discussion of why they're wrong. This person's saying, in this completely different situation, what you're talking about wouldn't work. And presenting it as if it refutes my original central argument. Obviously it does not. Let's finish this off. You just need to grow up about this and become the politician that such a position necessarily requires if you don't want to hypothetical organization to just catch on fire. This is the part that genuinely pissed me off. This is exactly, this is the central theme that I am actively, aggressively fighting against. That I post all these videos to, to have something nasty to say about. This is the reason that when someone comes at me, I don't just say, oh, well, um, I might, I, you know, you might make some good points there. And <laughs> instead I say, no, fuck you. You have to fucking argue with me on my terms, at my level. You have to argue with me using logic, reason, evidence. You have to say something other than, you're wrong, here's a bunch of shit that has nothing to do with what you're saying, and you can't get away with that with me. I do not cede any ground to a dickhead on the internet, or a dickhead in real life for that matter, that comes up to me and says, Oh, you know, it, it, some, something didn't, you know, you're wrong about the thing and uh, you just need to, you need to 
change the way that you are to to be right about the thing um and that happens by doing what i tell you no fuck you fuck comma you the end no it really is the part about you just need to grow up and and basically behave in an agreeable way that pisses me off because that's how social justice warriors woke tards left toids whatever you want to call them that's how they take things over they show up they say let's uh, we need to uh, we need to elevate the discussion about this or we we need to be more mature and adult about this we need to be caring we need to appeal to morality logical fallacy about this they show up they appeal to some notion of morality usually something that sounds really very agreeable such as hey um, we need to just you know we need to be more inviting to new people so that they can um, also feel welcome coming to this project and contributing code. Imagine all the good stuff we're missing out on uh, by simply not being more inviting to people than, than you know, um, if you write it, we'll evaluate it on its merits, and if it works, then we'll, we'll accept it. So that's not good enough. No, now we have to go out of our way to pretend like, oh, everything here is made of, it, it, you're basically, it's a padded cell <clears throat> with cushions on all of the hard objects so that you won't get hurt. Uh, come in, and if you, if you contribute code, we'll accept it, even if it's stupid, even if it causes problems, even if it compromises security, even if there are a multitude of issues, because we want you to feel included, because it matters more that we include everybody than that our code isn't fucking garbage. Yeah, no, I'm not going to be grown up about this because when you say be grown up, when you say you just need to be an adult about this, what you're really saying is you are not behaving like an adult. You are behaving in an immature way, whereby mature, I mean doing what I want. No, fuck you. I reject your premises outright. I don't care what you think. I do not care that you think that I am immature. I do not care what your thoughts are on the matter. Write the code, present the code. Is the code good? No? Then get out. Is the code good? Yes? Then welcome to the club. We will accept this code. You write another piece of code? Is the code not good? Get out. Is the code good? Fine. We'll take that too. But I'm not going to accept whatever you do, whatever your contribution is, just because you appeal to some sort of sense of like, oh, well, it would be the most adult thing to accept it anyway, because, you know, we don't want to be exclusive. Like, the whole point is to be exclusive. The whole point of my entire argument is that people should not be included when they are cancer, when they are a rot, when they are destructive to your project, when they are going to ruin what you're doing, when they are, at worst, going to kick you out of your own project and burn down everything you spent the past five years working towards, or more for that matter, you should not include them. That is the central theme of this argument. This is not a difficult concept, yet somehow morons cannot understand it. Moving on, no, screw that, this is me. No, screw that growing up nonsense and basically the things that I just told you. And they replied, someone else replied, you're becoming delusional, buddy. They have a point. If one person was in charge of everything, you'd never get anything done because that person would be the bottleneck for all the work being done. Notice, that's not what I'm talking about. Any large organization needs an organizational structure of some sort. We're not talking about a large organization. We're talking about a team of, I don't know, let's just say somewhere between zero, as in just me, and I don't know, 20 or 30 people. If you think for one second that I cannot manage 30 people coding, if you think that one human <coughs> cannot handle wrangling 30 programmers in an office, you are a moron who has never done any actual work. Now, granted, 30 people can be a bit much. It, it can be a little difficult 
for one person to manage 30 people in certain scenarios. Something tells me coding is not one of those scenarios. There are instances where the stakes are high and you do need to delegate to lower managers so that they can take care of that, but this is not one of those. You know what? I'm Look, dude, I'm about to go swimming. I'm almost at the pool. I'm, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. Um, you guys are idiots. I'm not talking about big businesses. You know that you're lying, that you're deceitful or deceptive or whatever. You know what you're doing. You know it's bull. Stop it. Or get out of my comment section. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that crap. You know what? If you don't like me, hit subscribe twice. Unsubscribe twice to make damn sure. Take care. Higher hole as opposed to what? The partial hole? Hey, dickhead. Slow down, dickhead. Thank you.